பாரு It's Northern Ireland and South Korea about to do battle as we reach the midway point of the 2024 IFCPF Men's World Championships here in Salau. Northern Ireland after a win yesterday over Italy. And South Korea looking to get their first of the tournament after losing to Scotland. After kicking off at this time yesterday. In terms of the teams, there is a bit of interesting news to get to. We'll read those out after the national anthems, but my name is Oliver Walker Peel here with you once more to provide the English commentary feed for the 2024 IFCPF Men's World Championships as the two teams make their way out. In fact, we'll run through those changes now. I think we'll have time. There is one for Northern Ireland, which seems goalkeeper. Paul Cassidy, who has been reclassified to an FT3, dropped to the bench. Jordan Walker, who has been playing in defence for the start of the tournament, goes in goal and he remains the captain. Ryan Walker comes in off the bench. So it's 12 Jordan Walker, 2 Charlie Fogarty, 5 Sean Coyle, 6 Jordan Cush, 7 David Levy, 9 Riley, uh, Ryan Walker and two, uh, 10 Charlie Emerson. And for South Korea... They make a couple of switches. One with the lineup with Kim Nam Ho coming in. And there is a reclassification of Jang Jun Ho, who's gone from FT1 to FT2. So a couple of changes from South Korea point of view. Read through the full South Korea starting seven after the national anthem. Saco bandera o no? So with both anthems done, the South Korean team, as I tease before the anthem, is as follows. Number 13 is Song Hai Son. Number 3 is Park Soo Am. Number 4, Zhang Jun Ho. Number 6, Choi Byom Jun. Number 8, Choi Jong Wong. Number 9, Lee Sung Hwan. And number 14 is Kim Nam Ho on the bench for both sides, starting with Northern Ireland. 1, Paul Cassidy. 3, Oisin McGurk. Number 4, Declan McDonald. And number 11 is Finn Mullen. And for... South Korea, 
It is number five, Kim Kin Am. Number seven, Sim Zhu Zhong. Number 10, Park Hei Chol. Number 11, Kim Dong Hyun. And number 12 is Jong Tai Yang. Both teams again having some team photos taken, as we've seen right across the tournament. Jordan Walker in a slightly different coloured shirt than what we usually expect to see him in. He's been playing outfield for the first couple of games of this tournament, but now will stand in between the posts, wearing number 12. So a very interesting development. The armband still remains consistent with him though. And he will lead from the back. He's always led from the back, but he's gonna lead from even further back today. I'm not sure if that's something he expected when he initially arrived in Salau. We've seen a number of goalkeepers who have started outfield and then have had to go in goal for whatever that may be, whether that be classification or whatever other reason. Of course, there's been a case with Australia with David Barber in the men's team who was watching along to the coverage earlier on in the tournament, who uh, started outfield and played on the wing, then moved into defence, then in between the sticks, maybe Jordan Walker can take a leaf out of the David Barber handbook in how to stand in between the sticks. And if he does it anywhere near as well as David Barber does it, then he'll give Northern Ireland a real chance of winning today over South Korea, who are also looking to get the win, of course. Unlike Northern Ireland, though, they're looking for their first win as we're underway. Emerson looking to catch the goalkeeper unawares, but able to do so. Son Hai Song able to watch that one over the bar. Well, they're about to play in front of Choi Jong Woon. Mm. Now with Jordan Walker. Plays the ball to the Northern Ireland right. Emerson looking to send it in towards the middle. Did well, Ryan Walker across the face. It was out for a throw in the end, but could have been so much more if he just worked the angle as well as he wanted to. That'll be a throw for Northern Ireland given by referee Ross Haswell. Bogarty, Jordan Walker looking for Emerson who provided the assist in yesterday's winner for David Levy, Ryan Walker cushions it back for David Levy over the top and wide. Northern Ireland starting well in the opening couple of minutes of this game. A win would set them right on the way to joining Scotland in Thursday's final. As South Korea wants something to say about it. And it's a wonderful goal from Choi jong Woon. A brilliant strike into the top right corner. And despite the good early start from Northern Ireland, that's an even better goal from a South Korean point of view. South Korea's number eight opens the scoring in this one. South Korea are in front. It's his second goal of the tournament. 
Chai Jong Woo. Scored in the defeat to Scotland. Got South Korea's first of that game. Emerson. Ryan Walker looking to return it back to him. Walker's there to the byline, cutting it back. And it's helped away. Getting a crucial touch, Son Hai Song. Northern Ireland peg back early. Coyle has one and a second playing forward for Ryan Walker who looks to cut in field. It's sent away to play for a corner from Choi Byomjun. Be a corner from the Northern Ireland left. and taking it towards the front post and there on the goal line Park Suam to help it clear another corner on the way sent in low this time Zhang Zhenho clearing up towards halfway back from Jordan Cush, set Jordan Walker a little bit of a task, but one he was able to be up to. Kim Nam Ho. Emerson sliding in as he tried to win it back. Jong Woon played it to the leg of Coyle as again they look to make the goal and uh, the goalkeeper work. That'll be behind for a corner. Charlie Emerson trying from range. It looks a bit audacious, but got it on target. We're at the corner short, Northern Ireland. Leave it, sending it towards the back post. And Ryan Walker heads wide. Great cross towards the back post. And Ryan Walker has had a number of chances so far in this one, which, while he hasn't converted any of them, would be good signs for him and for Northern Ireland because you'd expect he'd convert a couple of them before long. So work it down the left hand side. With Kim Nam Ho. Choi Bim Jun. So I know as far as Park Suam. Charlie Emerson. To play it forward, but Zhang Junho in the way of that. Emerson. Sent down the line and one. Took a deflection according to the officials. Jordan Walker certainly didn't think so. Will be a 
South Korean corner to follow here. Choi Byung Jun over to take it from the South Korean right. Holds his left arm in the air. Takes a couple of paces back from the ball then. Goes with the two arms. We're going long past the back post and out of play for a Northern Ireland throw. And ball up towards Ryan Walker, who thought that he was being fouled. Plus Haswell, the referee disagreeing. To take the corner in towards the middle. Ball again goes behind for another Northern Ireland corner. Look to make something of it, but couldn't do so. South Korea have got to play it down. It's Kim Nam Ho, who is now back to his feet, and Charlie Emerson to take another corner. Sends in Walker at the back post, and Ryan Walker couldn't get it inside the uprights. Nam Ho, playing in board. Oh, Byung Chun had it taken away from him and the ball forward. Looking to work it down the South Korean left. Couldn't find a teammate. Ryan Walker, Charlie Emerson, firing wide. And with hands on his head, was disappointed with himself there. But not being able to work something more of that. Jordan Cush, now Ryan Walker combining with Levy. Ryan Walker went over. Wanting a free kick, not getting one. Well, that certainly will be a free kick for Choi Jong Woon. Free kick taken from Jan Jun Ho and able to eventually claim Jordan Walker. 12 gone and still the early goal from Choi Jong Won. The difference between these two sides. Picks up the ball again. Choi Jong Won playing across. And Lee Sung Hwan had to make something of that. And South Korea will retain possession of the ball here. And do so via a corner from their left hand side. Looking to try and engineer something meaningful that could perhaps lead to a 
Second goal for them this afternoon. And towards the middle, fully dealt with from a Northern Ireland point of view, and it should be now with Jordan Walker picking up. Play four for Ryan Walker. He went over the edge of the box. Referee, that's Haswell, electing not to blow his whistle. Long ball again up towards Northern Ireland's number nine. He controlled once, then twice, but it was helped away by Kim Nam Ho. Good body work by Lee Sung Hwan. Who was trying to go on with it? And Jordan Walker able to take it once again. Northern Ireland trying to keep this game moving, but a pass like that won't help. And a bit of space now, David Levy. Moves away from Choi Byung Jun. Playing towards Ryan Walker. Kim Nam Ho will get it away. Played forward from Choi Jong Won. Looking for Lee Sung Han, but too much on it. This play will be halted as we're approaching the midway point of the first half. Both teams will take some fluids. Still, it's the early Choi Jong Won goal that is the difference between Northern Ireland and South Korea in this one. Congregation in the field of play with the officials having words with one another. They've broken away from that impromptu meeting now. As players from both Northern Ireland and South Korea get to taking their positions. The get set to restart play. Nice turn, Levy. Taken away by Choi Jong Woon. Heavy touch from Choi Byung Jun. Allow Charlie Emerson in. Over towards the right hand side for Charlie Fogarty. It's turned in board for Charlie Emerson, who was a whisker away from equalising. Emerson, fouling sí. Choi Jong Won. Sí, 
Stands over the free kick. There's three in the wall for Northern Ireland. Free kick sent on, but there was an infringement from a South Korean player in amongst it all. The Choi Jong one free kick was struck. Anderson. He was fouled. Charlie Emerson in towards the middle. And Sean Coyle almost with a telling touch. Yes. Emerson again commits another foul. Kim Nam Ho. All over the top of Charlie Emerson. Charlie Jong Woon. Looks to send it in, but Jordan Walker is there. Here's Ryan Walker looking to make his way to the byline and on his way there saw the ball go out of play but it's going to be a Northern Ireland corner Emerson towards the back post and once more it's headed wide this time by David Levy Ryan Walker driving down the Northern Ireland left and running out of room. Nisa Juan right back to his goalkeeper. That was. A little bit risky, but Jordan Walker playing for Ryan Walker. Touchdown for Charlie Emerson. Walker shooting and it's held by South Korean goalkeeper in Song Hai Song. Emerson tried to slide in. As Choi Jong Won goes on. Around one. Try to make it two. It was almost so superbly done. A wonderful run from Choi Jong Won, almost leading to the second, but not to be. It was 
Held behind for South Korean corner. Oh, Saints in and heading wide, Choi Jong Won, who is having chance after chance after chance. He's taken one of them already this afternoon. And this game, really in South Korea's favour at the moment, not only just on the scoreboard, but also in the balance of play as well. Cut out. Choi Jung won looking for Choi Byung Jun. Referee. Ross Haswell has picked out a free kick in amongst all of that. Emerson looking to fire one, it was on target. And it had to be blocked away or else that was heading in. Good work from Chang Jung Ho to do so. As, there's a chance for Levy, good save. Again from Song Hai Song. Charlie Emerson with another corner as Northern Ireland looked to mount the pressure. Sent in towards the front post and helped away by Park Suam. Emerson looking for the far post. Flicked away by Choi Jong Won. Four minutes or so to go in the opening half an hour. Emerson combining short with Levy. Behind for yet another corner. <laughs> Levy taking, looking for Emerson who couldn't get anything on it. Down the line towards Lee Sung Hwan, who almost had his marker rolled, but we play by Jordan Kush to win it back. The distance was spilled by Walker and he eventually went back to go and find it. Jordan Walker a little bit nervy there, sending that one as far away as he can up towards Ryan Walker to work his way into the box. That one again going behind for another corner. So set piece after set piece after set piece in an attempt for Northern Ireland to break South Korea down, but they haven't done so yet. In by Emerson towards the back post. And South Korea get it clear. Choi Byung Jun. Went over, play goes on. Ryan Walker, Charlie Emerson on the Northern Ireland left. And that never that never looked like it from the moment that left his boot.
porque es portero también. Sí, el 9 de Corea ya juega el portero también. Así lo hace todo. Es por eso hace todo. Te jale, pobrecita. Vale. 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 Está viendo agua, ya está. Levy, back with Jordan Walker, who has seen one go past him, but outside of that, he's not really had much else to do. Sent long and That'll be behind for a goal kick. Ball forward looking for Sean Coyle, unable to find him though. to the first of two added minutes. Ball sent forward. It was inadvertently diverted out of play. Northern Island ball as they look to try and get themselves back level before the break. Ryan Walker, David Levy, who was the difference maker yesterday? So was the right hand side for Charlie Emerson. He gets into the box, Charlie Emerson, and just about eluded Ryan Walker at the back post. Northern Ireland have had some good moments of play, but Son Hai Song has rarely been forced to make a save. Out of bounds. Troy Bjorn Jun in the floor. Jordan Walker sent away. And out of reach for Charlie Emerson. As Troy Bjorn Jun is down. The captain for South Korea. Helps his feet. It's rolled in short. Ryan Walker close to the ball but unable to win it back. He might hear Ryan Walker take it down and scoring. It's one each right before the break. After he put the pressure on Zhang Junho. Ended up getting to the ball and inside the box has leveled things up right before the break. And that completely changes how both managers will address the teams at half time. Ryan Walker with a massive goal to get Northern Ireland back on level terms. Go for the instant response, or at least try to, and that would have been spectacular. From Chang Jun Ho, hit the post. He fair caught Jordan Walker unawares. 
and Northern Ireland, who were absolutely sure it was going into half time at one apiece, saw it hit the post and bounce away. And that would have been a remarkable end to a first half that, for the first 30 minutes or so of it, was really low event, other than the early goal from Choi Jong Wook. A goal to square the ledger from Ryan Walker was almost followed with another to put South Korea back in front, but the effort hit the post at the break. It's Northern Ireland one, South Korea one. We'll be back with the second half just after this.
Welcome back to coverage of the 2024 IFCPF Men's World Championships for 2024. And at the break, it's one apiece between Northern Ireland and Scotland, and uh, South Korea rather. Scotland have played earlier in the day, which was the point I was about to make. They had a good win over Chile by four goals to one. But in this one, it is one apiece. Goals from first South Korea's number eight. Choi Jong Wong and then Northern Ireland's number nine in Ryan Walker right before the interval to ensure that both teams went in level. Oliver Walker Peel, the commentator across all of the tournaments for the English commentary feed. Again, worth a mention that if you fancy some Catalan commentary, then you can go across and Find that on the FECPC YouTube channel. We've got a couple of changes at the break. And Jordan Walker has gone off to be replaced by Paul Cassidy. So a goalkeeping switch. And also coming on is Declan McDonald to take the place of Sean Coyle. So David Cassidy who was reclassified yesterday to an FT3, which means that he is uh, deemed to have a less severe impairment than previous. And players are classified before each tournament. It's going over there, Choi jong Woon. who is South Korea's goal scorer. got two for the tournament now. Choi Byom Jun is the other South Korean goal scorer for the tournament with one against Scotland earlier in the piece. Zhang Jun Ho to take the resulting free kick. Lost one in and Cassidy had to be watchful. His first involvement is coming on was to help palm that one over the crossbar. And it was a little bit nonchalant until he realised that it was creeping under the bar and then he made sure that he helped it over. Lee Sung Hwan with a resulting corner. Sent in and eventually behind. And boards. It's over towards the left hand side for David Levy. Driving in field and a wonderful save from Son Hai Song. David Levy looked to follow up and he gave away a free kick, but a big, big save from South Korea's goalkeeper to keep the game level. He was moving away to his left and dived wonderfully to his right to make sure. Northern Ireland didn't take the lead for the first time for them in this game. They're very close to doing so. Ryan Walker, the Northern Ireland goal scorer, will receive back. Played out wide to the right hand side and cut back from Declan McDonald. Couldn't find a teammate. Levy. Ryan Walker. Now with Ryan Walker once more, and it's helped out of play by Zhang Junho. It's pulled back. That will be 
Behind. Forward, David Levy pulling it back forward. Declan McDonald, whose first time effort wasn't as clean as he would have wanted it to be. And there's Ryan Walker, and that's perfectly done. A ruthless finish from Ryan Walker, and that's his brace. He's come up big with a couple of huge goals to turn the tide of this game. And from behind, it is Northern Ireland who now leads. Again, they try from kickoff South Korea and that one over the top from Zhang Junho. Maybe one day it might work for them. Levy infield for Jordan Walker off the crossbar. Started the game in goal, has then moved outfield into his more familiar defensive post and almost with a wonderful goal to make it 3-1. Jordan Walker diving in. Kim Nam Ho here on the South Korean left. Good defending by McDonald. Behind for another corner. Over to take Lee Sung Hwan. Who will roll it for Choi Bom Jun? Charged down by Jordan Kush, who has Ryan Walker ahead of him. If he can get the ball under his spell, he can. Ryan Walker in the box, will get there and will complete his hat trick. Took his time and made absolutely sure. And then had an unguarded goal to smash the ball into. And it's another hat trick here in Salau. Ryan Walker putting the team on his back and willing them on. And he might well be willing them on right to Thursday's final. And once more, South Korea look to tee one up, but they've foxed us all. Choi Byung Jun. Watching on as Choi Jong Won went down. It'll be a free kick for South Korea. And while Northern Ireland can't mathematically seal their place in the final today, they can. All but get there. In fact, if South Korea were to lose, which they would in this case, then with the Chile defeat earlier on in the day, it would be only Italy. Played the two games and on the one point. I 
and a minus one goal difference that is with Chile being worse off which means it would be Scotland then Northern Ireland in the top two Italy in third Chile in fourth and South Korea in fifth to run through what the standings would be Is Jordan Walker and it's a great save from Songhai Sun. Able to get something behind it to get it behind. There'll be a corner to follow for Northern Ireland, who with a win would move to six points. As mentioned. Chile on one, Italy on one. Could both usurp. Northern Ireland, but it would take a lot. It's sent in low. Cleared up towards halfway. Cho Jong won. Nice feet from David Levy. Ryan Walker. Rolls across, here's David Levy, and that's a spectacular save. Son Hai Song is having some game. And if not for him in this second half, this game could be all but gone for South Korea. Northern Ireland, corner to follow. Levy to float it in, and Ryan Walker to provide another telling touch for number four. Ryan Walker, the man on the mission. A hat trick not enough for him, seemingly. And well, we've had a number of players score. Three in a game in this tournament. We've not had someone score four until now. And the other bit of byplay in this is the goal difference growing and growing from a Northern Ireland point of view. As again, South Korea will go from range and misfire. And Northern Ireland have. I think now more than one foot in the final on Thursday. Scotland are already there, mathematically there. So it looks set to be. Clash between Scotland and Northern Ireland. In an all UK affair. Jordan Walker teeing one up and sent over the top. And with the change in numbers, that number 12 has been taped on. That'll need. Redoing at some point. There's more pressing matters at hand now, though. <laughs> well, to play him behind South Korea. Paul Cassidy had called keepers, but looking to help it away, Jordan Cush. With Lee Sung Hwan trying to bear him behind. There'll be a corner on the way for South Korea. They were sitting pretty in this game at one point, but. That feels like a long time ago now. Corner taken short for Zhang Junho. Breaks for Kim Nam Ho. He looks to send it back in. Northern Ireland send away. Ryan Walker around the corner looking for David Levy. That will be. Kept in play by Declan McDonald. Now David Levy looking to curl one and doing so ever so well. It's a fifth for Northern Ireland and finally someone joins Ryan Walker from a Northern Ireland point of view on the score sheet. Scored a huge goal yesterday, David Levy. 
And the one here today probably puts the result beyond doubt now. And Northern Ireland have an eye and a half now on Thursday. As Ryan Walker has it back. On behind off Park Suam. As we approach the midpoint of this second half in his second game of the third day here in Salal for 2024. Taken short, Levy. Back out to Jordan Walker. Towards Jordan Walker, who tried to get up to head that and had his head hit hard on the turf. And Jordan Walker will need some attention here. as the Northern Ireland physio makes the way on. There's a big thud against the artificial turf. We can only hope that he's okay to continue. In terms of outfield potential substitutes on the bench, Oshin McGurk is one of them still there, Finn Mullen another. Jordan Walker back up. Balls now for so many involved. Sheen McGurk will come on for Charlie Fogarty here. A numberless Jordan Walker able to go on. Forward, looking to try and find Ryan Walker, who wanted it to feet. Jordan Walker. Looking for Ryan Walker in behind. He looks to try and round the goalkeeper and couldn't manage it. Son Hai Song, despite seeing his team concede five, has 
Still played very, very well. The ball drifts out of play. And that will present an opportunity for a South Korean switch with Kim Kinam coming on for Park Suam. Jordan Walker has David Levy to his left. With Jordan Walker, who was fouled by Choi Byung Jun. Jordan Walker curling one off the post. As Ryan Walker went over in the box. A little bit slow to get up here. Ryan Walker. But he's now back to his feet, which is good to see. Levy on the left. Ryan Walker. Taken away by Chang Jun Ho. Flying away from Zhang. After a congregation around the ball, it was cleaned up by Jordan Walker, who then looked for Ryan. Looking to burst through, but good defending. From Choi Byung Jun, who played forward for Lee Sung Hwan. Great ball, Sung Hwan. Seeing his effort saved. And Paul Cassidy having to make the save to keep the four goal lead intact. David Levy and to his left. Jordan Walker looking to rifle one, and it was sent well off target as we had another change. Finn Mullen to take the place of Ryan Walker, whose four goal game may be the most impressive performance we've seen in Salau this week. Finn Mullen coming on in his place. He was originally set to be the break glass in case of emergency goalkeeper that Jordan Walker's had to assume the role of earlier on in this game. Lee Sung Hwan goes on to get away from Jordan Walker. Did that well enough, but the shot following was rather tame. Donald. Sung Juan. As South Korea just about managed to maintain possession of the ball. Lee Sung Juan. Marshalled once more by Jordan Walker. As South Korea have it back inside the area. Lee Sung Juan looking to. Pull it back and it's out of play across the byline. 
with South Korea. Set to send another corner in. Just sent in high. And on the volley. Not a bad effort from Kim Nam Ho. Trains at Paul Cassidy. Who is down just in front of the goal line. And again, the physio will be called for. Paul Cassidy taking a drink in the Northern Ireland physio. Had to do a fair bit of work in this one. I suppose it's only fair to give Lee Rutherford his flowers. He's been on a couple of times now when his players have needed him and he's done some job. It's very rarely the physio gets the name mentioned, but it's important to do so in moments like that as the corner came in. South Korea look for a second. Choi Jong won. And it taken away from him. Now Finn Mullen. Towards halfway. Helps it on. Jordan Cush down the right for Northern Ireland. It's moved over for David Levy. He will float in towards the back post. And South Korea should now complete the clearance. Chang will. Good first touch from Choi Byung Jun. At least it looks as though it would be, but there was too much on it. Kush. Receives the one-two from Levy. Ah. Jong won from range and keeping him out. Paul Cassidy. Who is absolutely livid with the outfielders in green ahead of him for not being as Diligent as they could be. The Green and White Army getting an absolute earful from their goalkeeper in grey. Resulting corner sent in from Lee Sung Hwan, but headed away at the front post by Jordan Walker. Finn Mullen was giving chase. He was pulled back by Zhang Junho. There we are, yellow card for South Korea's number four. Zhang Junho is down. He's receiving some treatments himself.
Zhang Junho is still down. Looks like the stretcher will be called for here. Which is never a good sign. It's great to have the ambulance on location and on hand. Parked so close to the pitch. Four moments like this. And with all respect to the wonderful people in those positions you don't really want to see them use but it's so handy having them here and thank them for their wonderful work that they do it's just a real shame that Zhang Junho's afternoon is ended slightly earlier in a footballing sense than he would want Zhang Junho is back to his feet and the medical staff again doing a wonderful job that they do are helping him out. Shang Junho now on the stretcher is helped off. Wonderful work by the officials. There's a Korean staff member there as well. And the medical team who have helped get Zhang Junho off the field of play. I will get back underway with a Northern Ireland free kick after it was Zhang who had fouled Finn Mullen. We are past the hour, but it'll be a while before we get an indication of how long we'll be added on, with good reason as well, as it's sent on goal and it's Hit the post. Northern Ireland coming close again with Jordan Walker. Almost finding another Northern Ireland goal. And 
the officials that were helping Zhang Junho. Off and out, back to their original post. Walker. Played forward for Finn Mullen. Looking for McDonald. As Ross Haswell checks the watch. Here's Jordan Walker. He looks to open his body up, curls one, it's blocked. Lee Sung Hwan. Jordan Walker away from one. Jordan Cush taking over. Over to the left for Finn Mullen. Now with David Levy. Cush playing back for Paul Cassidy. As South Korea take it forward. Shot from Choi was blocked. Choi Jung Won has been South Korea's main avenue to goal throughout the start of this tournament. So able to find another one there that would have taken his tally to three. Park Hei Chol, who replaced, who replaced Jang Jung Ho. Ball forward for Finn Mullen. That one disappears out of play off a ricochet. David Levy, and that'll be full time. Northern Ireland winning by five goals to one. Propelled to that score line thanks to a wonderful performance from Ryan Walker, who had four goals of his own. David Levy added one himself. It was a long time ago now, but they were behind South Korea, uh, Northern Ireland, sorry, to South Korea, thanks to the goal from Choi John Won early on, but it's Northern Ireland who prevail by a score of five goals to one. Stay tuned for the post-match interviews to follow shortly. individuales, porque es que las acciones de ataque son individuales. Doncs fins aquí el partit 5 a 1 que ha guanyat Irlanda del Nord en un partit que, clar, a la primera part ens pensàvem que, però finalment hem pogut veure que a la segona part a Corea del Sud només li han quedat els xuts llunyans i la màgia que cada dia volem veure del jugador Choi que Està fent, està fent unes, uns partits espectaculars. Porta un gol a cada partit. Amb la llàstima que, clar, finalment el físic a la segona part a Corea baixa molt. I és per això que aquest gol a, 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 abans d'arribar al descans ha estat uh, molt complicat. És que, porcentualment, dices, eh, Choi lleva un, part, un gol en cada partit, és que lleva dos de los tres goles de Corea. I esto és així. Eh, antes passava per allí, quan me, me acerca al baño, que estava a la taula de goleadores, el top 3 son jugadores de Escocia. 
Los tres. Es que claro. Son los siete de Hickman, eh, los tres de Robertson y los tres de… Y los tres de… De Milsi. Sí, sí, de Milsi. Sí. Eh, entonces, bueno… Pues si el tercer máximo goleador de Escocia lleva los mismos goles que Corea del Sur, eh, habla también de potencial ofensivo de, de unos y otros. Pero sí, sí, yo creo que nos vamos a quedar todos con, 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 con un choy y antológico. Es una dada brutal, ¿vale? Que claro. Uh, te toca la rabo que si al tercer máximo goleador de. Que no del torneo, que también, pero de un equipo. De un equipo. En Porta Mesca, toda. Toda Corea del Sur, donde pues, uh, evidentemente això acaba caer en parte su propio mes. Así que vayamos aquí, aturadas de Molberit, de Son Gieseon, que ha fet muy buen partido, pero claro, cuando chutan 15 vagadas, donde pues, es normal que 5 acaben entrando y meses desde Dona la Navidad. Vamos a tener entrevista solo con Irlanda del Norte, creo, porque. Eh, la intérprete de Corea está imagino que está, el, sí, está todavía con el jugador que, que le estaban atendiendo a Juno entonces bueno pues eh, creo que está por aquí Ryan Walker no está uh, muy buena actuación de Ryan Walker así que me más culta las palabras del punta norte irlandés So, because the South Korean translator is over with Zhang Junho in the ambulance, we'll only have the one post-match interview today, but it's with Northern Ireland's Ryan Walker, who has four goals on the day. There was a quick conversation before we came over here to just check whether he got the first one, but the first one's yours. You've got all four. How does that feel? You know, it feels good, you know, but at the same time, it was all down to the team. You know, we had to put in a second-half performance there, and we just showed there, like, there and I, that we can do it. So, I mean, the goals will come in if the performance is there, so... Team effort. And you've got a fair few to pick from, but which was your favourite from this afternoon? To us. Don't know. I think the one I said the box is slotted in the bottom left, so I think I'll take that one. Yeah, so. absolutely. And from a team point of view, you're not quite mathematically in the final, but you're almost there. Almost is there. The, is the mood in the group reflecting that? Is the mood lifted a little bit? And of course, it's always great to be in Spain playing some football, but is the mood lifted with the results amongst the group? Of course it has. You know, we had, a, as we see, you've seen, we had a tough game against Scotland. Our aim was to try and give them a good game and then come in these next couple of games and give, win them and then try and make it to the final. And so the, it's, the ball is still in our hands. You know, all we have to do is go out again, give a solid performance and then hopefully we're there. And that's all it will take. Well, thank you, Ryan. Great game from you today, and uh, all the best for us of the tournament. Thank you very much. Thank you. Not a problem. And so, with no more interviews to do, that'll be the coverage for day three done from Salau. No games tomorrow. We've got a rest day. So, stay tuned. And on Monday, we'll be back with some football here from Salau in the 2024 IFCPF Men's World Championships. Ahí está. Así lo ha dicho, y tal cual lo ha dicho nuestro compañero de la señal inglesa. Dama, día de descans, o sigui que ens retrobem uh, d'aquí a dos días, dilluns que ve, amb molt més futbol, dos partits molt més que ya ja comencen a preparar aquestes gairebé semifinals que es trobarà entre Chile i Irlanda del Nord. És el partit que estem esperant. Sí, ese va a ser el martes. El lunes tendremos turno de las 9 y media de la mañana, Chile contra Corea del Sur, y a las 12, Italia contra Escocia. Menú de lunes, menú tras la vuelta del descanso, que tampoco está en nada más. Donde nos vayan de Jones, a las 9 y micha. Tenemos una nueva cita. Una abrazada y que pase un buen día.